Here is something you probably never thought anyone would say. Cancer is natural. It's the natural evolution of the cells of our body. Surprised? Well, allow me to explain. A few days ago, while I was doing some research on evolution, I came across an interesting topic. Adaptation. When the cells of our body mutate to a changing environment so we can adapt to that change, it's called adaptation. If we grow long hair in response to very cold weathers, that's adaptation. If we stop growing those hair cells in response to hot weather, that's also adaptation. As we adapt successfully in response to changing environments, evolution happens. Make sense? Now once again, cells mutate to adapt to changing environments. It's the natural thing to do. Cancer is a bunch of cells mutating in an unnatural environment. Our blood that has gone too toxic for normal cells to live. If they don't mutate, they get sick and die is their natural response to mutate. Cells are designed to adapt to changing environments through mutation. It's just a natural thing for them to do. Unfortunately, doctors around the world tell us that the solution to cancer treatment is chemotherapy or nuking the cancer cells with radiation. But what they don't tell us is why those cancer cells mutated in the first place. Or that unless the environment is changed, more cells will mutate sooner or later. Which is why we see so many cancer patients being treated with chemotherapy and the whole thing relapses again. See, from the cell's perspective, they either mutate or they die. Mutation of cells is natural. Cancer is really the evolution of a group of cells who try to survive in a very toxic environment. Of course the whole thing goes out of hand because those cells in the end end up killing the body itself, but that's another topic. Cancer is really the evolution of a group of cells who try to survive in a very toxic environment. Try to understand that very clearly. Trying to kill those cells without changing the environment is like trying to kill the flies without taking the garbage out. So, how can you immediately take action to rapidly improve your environment? Here are three simple solutions. Number one, breathe deep. Breathe deep. The very first stimuli that cause cells to mutate and become cancerous is lack of oxygen. Cancer cells mutate to adapt to a low oxygen level environment. The less oxygen there is, the better they thrive. It is the evolution of normal cells to survive in a toxic state with low oxygen levels. The solution? Breathe deep. Here is a simple exercise you can do every morning to increase your level of oxygen in your blood. Walk five minutes and breathe in this way. Four times in, hold for four counts, and breathe out slowly on four counts. Okay? I'll say that again. Four counts in, hold for four counts, and breathe slowly out on four counts. Like this. <sighs> I'll do it again. I'm breathing in through my nose, holding it for four counts, and then breathing out my mouth. Breathe into your abdomen, not your chest. That's the correct way to breathe. Don't have a place to walk? Well, walk in your bedroom. That's enough space for most exercises. 
Number two, stop eating acids. The second stimuli that cause cells to mutate into cancer cells is an acidic environment. It's their response to survive in an acid world. Mutated cells die in alkaline environments and thrive in acidic environments. To make your body more alkaline, begin to eat more alkaline foods. Veggie juicing and veggie smoothies are also very effective. Avoid sugar, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, that kind of all kinds of pop soda, coffee, meat products, milk, cigarettes, and alcohol. Eat more of raw green leafy vegetables, fruits, alkaline water, and coconut water. And if you really want to see some fantastic changes in your health in a very short period of time, drink green smoothies every morning for breakfast and nothing else until lunch. Get different green leafy vegetables, put some tomatoes, cucumbers, purified water, and blend them all in in a blender and then drink it. You may think it will be horrible to drink, but it's not. It's actually kind of nice once you get the hang of it. Finally, number three, mind your body. Stress weakens the immune system. Stress is the number one killer. It is the cause for most diseases. It increases acid and it generally affects everything in the body. It's very important to maintain a healthy, happy mindset. How do you do that? Meditate. Watch funny movies. Avoid the news channels and the horrible things that are going on in the life. Read inspirational books. Get a pet. Make some friends and invest on the relationship. Let go of old grievances and past grudges. And finally, share this message with as many people as you can. The pain and damage caused by cancer and chemotherapy is beyond anything words can ever explain. Help people wake up from this nightmare of pharmaceutical propaganda. Avoiding cancer and healing from it is so simple, it's almost ridiculous. Think in the right way. Change the water when the fish is sick. Nuking the bowl is not the solution. Go make the world a little bit better today.